Hey guys, today we are on the water, we're testing this stroller two-piece kayak that it turned into a three-piece kayak. But again, we're gonna have a full playlist of this boat being used as a two-piece or a three-piece. This video, we're over here on my favorite place on planet Earth to test the boats and we're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing, a little bit of demoing, paddling, all that stuff. So watch the entire video so you get all your questions answered. I came here and everybody's leaving. It's a good sign. I'll tell you what, this boat weighs nothing as a 10 footer. This one could be turned into a 14 footer as well. Tandem kayak, and we're gonna be doing that as well. We're gonna be turning this boat into a tandem kayak for sure. Okay. Hope it is recording. 360 style. And I need one more thing, which is oh my paddle, my paddle, and the fishing rod. Rod holders. So it's got one 360 camera. Oh, yeah. Need to tie it up. Things that we do for the things that we do. Uh, we're gonna get on the water right now. Choo choo choo. Ooh, slippery. Okay. Wow. It's like the boat wants to get in by itself. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right. Feels like a stable platform. Let's do some paddling first to get out of here. This is a 10 foot boat, guys. 10 foot that could turn into a 14 footer. We're on the water right now. We're paddling nicely. Whoa, whoa, it's a lot of water coming through. Look at this. You see that as I paddle? Let me get the drive out of the way. Put it in the front. Hopefully I don't lose it, but let me just hold it. All right, so I'm gonna paddle hard. You see all the water coming in already? Nisa's, maybe it's missing a piece, I don't know. We'll see, but I'm going fast. Probably over four miles an hour. So it doesn't paddle bad at all. Let me just plug in the drive and then that's how you can see it but it has this little things right here oh weird I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of the bowl later bowl. wow nice 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 velocity right off the bat nice velocity I mean Release the rudder right here. It has a release point right here. It feels very compact, not having the extra piece. This is basically a 10 foot Hobie Pro Angler. All right, guys, we're right here in the water. We're testing this stroke roller kayak. All the information is going to be linked down below in the description, but so far it feels pretty good, solid. Let me fix the seat over here. Nice. It feels pretty fast for what it is. Now, this thing does not have reverse. 
on the drive because it's the original Hobie style pattern but pretty quick for a 10 footer now let me show you here how well it turns the awesome thing about this boat is you could turn it into a tandem and you know we're gonna do all the videos about this boat both in a 10 footer version and a tandem version all right so i'm gonna turn here this way we sort of have like an open place to go i'm gonna try to go straight i'm gonna see if i could hold this camera and the, and the phone and everything at the same time so let's go ahead and do that before we do that let's hit record right here on this we're on all right guys we're going one miles an hour two miles an hour guys three miles an hour four miles an hour it topped at four miles an hour it did feel like we were going faster maybe that's because of the 10 footer but i could see like my legs already getting cramped so let me turn here show you guys how well it turns i turned the rudder all the way it's turning but you can see that it's not like a super sharp turn well sorry it is but i got on tire already this old drive they're not as efficient as the new ones same problem with the pelican one with the x drive that is very similar to this one and with this one same problem even the line strike drive the efficiency is just not there compared to the hobby mirage drive but hey hobby prices right so if you want that drive it's a thousand dollars you cannot even get it so it is what it is we're gonna try to go that way at maximum speed see what's up three miles four miles four miles an hour see what he's doing back there four miles an hour like that's the maximum speed four miles an hour that you could get out of this tiny little boat it would be super interesting to compare the 10 footer this version versus the 14 footer which is the same boat but we're gonna add a piece to the middle and see if we gain more speed being longer now the other thing about this drive even though it's not the best drive there is you could go through grass no problem i mean not crazy grass but a little bit of grass like this we felt something but it's like nothing really it's very windy here hopefully you can hear me good the sun is on my back but it's golden hours so it shouldn't be that harsh i do feel my muscles man crazy <sighs> okay guys so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to see uh not much effort see how much speed can we gain all right so i'm just going sort of slow here not even registering just yet but definitely definitely two miles an hour i would say it's just that this thing is an iphone so you know iphone suck so so i would say this is like for two miles an hour if we turn here and to navigate myself out of this a lot of grass right here that you see here i'm just using the drive Ooh, it's getting clotted oh can i get out of here oh my god Ooh, maybe like I, i'm in the middle in the thick of thing if this thing was a pdl drive <laughs> uh forget it it would have been stuck already i would have had to pull it out and do some surgery on it but uh so far this is working fine look it's out of it oh my god this is the beauty of this drive style all right we're gonna get to the middle then we're gonna turn around and see what kind of speeds we get going fast or going slow all right okay so we turn already i'm just gonna go lazy see what's up I'm not going fast this two miles an hour I'm going fast at all like see see my legs not a lot of motion two miles an hour look at that two miles an hour let's give it a little bit of juice see what's up still two miles an hour probably two and a half three 
three, a little bit of juice three. See the turns going really slow. It, 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 I mean, for a 10 footer, it doesn't turn that bad. No, sir. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so I want to paddle it. I want to see how good it is paddling it at 10 foot. And we're going to do all these tests again going at 14 footer. And I'm going to have my son with me and maybe my wife too. We'll see because this thing is very stable. We're just going to stand up and do some fishing because I got I to wet a line. I got to wet a line. I'm going to leave the drive the way it is because, guys, a lot of water comes through and that's going to slow me down instead of going fast. So this is just easy paddling right here. Not even registering because it's an iPhone. Not <laughs> even going fast, two miles an hour. Let me crank it up a bit, see what's up. That's three miles an hour. We should, we should hit four by now. It's four. It's just that this tracker is pretty nasty right now. Now the awesome thing about this type of drive if you could get it out in time so you could get really shallow look at this take it out and then you could get very very shallow wow it's like two inches of draft pretty much very shallow it fat i mean it's not fast okay don't get me wrong this is not a fast paddle, but it's an efficient paddle. Like, you put the paddle in the water and the boat moves. All right, you're not gonna go seven miles an hour, but you're gonna, the three to four miles an hour you're gonna go, it's not gonna kill you. You don't have to like drag it. Now, tell you the truth, those drives, again, with the Pelicans, with the X drive, with all of them, I'd rather just get the Hobie one or just paddle. Or better yet, Get a Bispy, link down below in the description if you want to get a Bispy through this channel and help the channel out, make some money so we can make more videos for you guys because, you know, making videos, they do cost money uh, contrary to what some people say it does cost a lot of money to make these videos especially camera gear and memory card but anyways, buy the Bispy, plug it in when you're tired and that's it now I do have to say, if you use any of these drives and you go slow you could go for miles and miles and miles and miles hours and hours and hours the problem is when when you push it too hard and you pretty much get tired like your legs get tired it's like going to the gym and doing legs and then you know the, the whole day you're you're shot it's pretty much what it is we're back in action i got a rod here got a googan rod with googan bait saucy swimmer and i'm gonna start casting I'm doing stuff here. Poo poo poo. What if we catch a fish right here? You know, it's not like the best time to fish. It's sort of like on the top, close to the banks. I should have rigged this up with the style. I I want to stand up here before that camera decides to stop recording. All right, that wasn't bad at all. I feel like it's wide enough to hold me. I don't know how I'm gonna look with a 360 camera, guys. Casting here, standing up, no problem. Feels like, like it turns to the side. I don't wanna test how stable it is right now because I don't wanna flip right here. We're gonna flip it, don't worry, we just, not today. So we spent a little bit of time with the Storlader. It's not a fast bow because it's a 10 footer, you know, but you can make this a 14 footer and we're gonna see how fast that one is. With two people, just one. Maybe I'll bring the three pieces and put the Bispy in the front and just me on the back, whatever. We'll see what we do. It's a lot of things that you could do with this boat. It's stable enough that I could stand up and fish, you know, someone like me. It's a little teepee. But we're gonna test the full stability coming soon. Is it worth your money? Well, that's really up to you. I mean, think about it. People buy $100,000 cars that only two people can use it, right? That, to me, is a waste of money. 
to that person maybe not you know so let's leave the money question to you guys and i'm gonna list all the prices and everything down in the description so go check it out if you want to learn more about it and i don't want to tell you what the price are because they change you know so just go down to the link and check it out uh these boats are available if you're in florida at san san agustin paro sport i can't remember the full name but anyway all that will be listed down below this is a demo unit that it was lent to me it's not mine i'm not keeping it and i'll tell you exactly what i think about it just like i tell you what i think about any kayak that i try or review or whatever i do the selling point of this boat is that it is a three-piece boat this is a two-piece you get a three-piece you could like break this apart and storage it nicely in a place that's a huge selling point and that also has a premium that's why this boat costs more money than the same boat if it was just a 10 footer because you could make it something more um, it's not the fastest there is 10 foot but also this drive being the original hobby drives pretty much is not ideal is they're not the best but again if you want this in a hobby there hobby doesn't make a boat like this so that's one and two you have to go pro angler if you want to get all the stuff and you're looking at $4,500 right that's a lot of money $3,500 really but anyway well, now like whatever over $3,000 if you want to go with a pro angler series 